other. Welcome to part four, building the Hackintosh. Here you can see me and here's my casing. I chose a Lian Lee Li casing in black painted aluminium. Um, it's a, hopefully a silent casing. Lots of 12 centimeter fans and uh, good solutions I hope. And uh, it's nice looking. It has a metal door which is uh, removable if you need it. There's the manual. And front USB ports, 12 centimeter fan in the rear. And on each of the side doors, there are some sound insulating material. There's an opening in the side door for that side fan. As I said, removable door. And here is all the screws that you will need to put a motherboard and hard drives and stuff like that inside. Side fan, rear fan, and there's a 12 centimeter front fan, and a hard drive cage that holds three, three and a half inch hard drives. <coughs> there's the memory, there's the CPU, Intel Core i7, there's some drives, these are actually for my server, and here's the DVD burner, and the motherboard. All you need is a screwdriver. This wire is connected to the ground and normally I would use a, a sort of bracelet that connects to that but I don't know where I put it. I life and snow leopard. There's a lot of stuff that comes with the motherboard, SLI stuff, lollipop, stickers, SATA cables and the eSATA bracket and the motherboard itself and before I touch it I ground myself even more properly towards the wire just to be safe. Here it is ultra durable yay! So unpack the CPU Here's the manual, here's the CPU, here's the cooler. <clears throat> Here I am trying to figure out which way the CPU actually fits. Better get it right the first time. <laughs> Then I need some thermal paste. There's Arctic Silver 5. Use that on a couple of rigs. Use a credit card to sort of squish it on the CPU. A thin layer, don't use too much. The best is a thin, thin layer. And I remove the thermal paste that is on the stock cooler. You don't want to have that. And then you attach the cooler. Plug it in. Unpack the memory. There you see, there's OZ set, two gig sticks, three of them. Put them in so it runs uh, triple channel. There we're good to go. We're removing the side fan. I'm changing that rear bracket with the one that comes with the motherboard. And man, that is a tight fit. I spent probably five minutes alone on that. As you can see from the video, <laughs> I was really struggling with that. <clears throat> I 
Now we're just figuring out which holes I need to put those spacers in. There they are. Sorry, this video has to be <clears throat> in such high speed because it was about our build and I'm trying to squeeze that into the magical 10 minutes of YouTube. But most of you probably would be bored to see me running around for one hour. So maybe it's a good thing anyways. And in goes the motherboard. There you see. Now I'm trying to figure out how to get the DVD burner inside. And while I was doing that, I was wondering where the intake for that front fan. And I found out that there's a filter in the bottom here. A dust filter, removable, of course. It's a bit different from my previous DMD casing. And in goes the DVD burner. There it is. Now the only thing that's left for now is connecting power button, reset button, hard drive LED and power LED to the motherboard. And also the USB headers for the two USB ports in the front of the computer case. Tidying the wires up a little bit. And that was my cat. And soon done. The only thing I need to do now is uh, take the power supply and the graphics card from my <coughs> existing uh, Hackintosh and move it over to this one. And here's the finished result. You see the motherboard, side fan, hard drive, 500 gigs. There's the front fan. And rear fan, and you can see the power supply up here. Put a few zip ties here and there to try to make the cables look good. <laughs> 